The 79th annual North Florida Fair opens in just two days, but preparations are underway right now to make sure you and your family have the wholesome fun you can handle. ABC 27's Cara Bailey shows us what's in store. With more than 50 rides returning to the North Florida Fair and after last year's COVID hiatus, inspectors are working now to make sure that the rides are ready to handle the masses. Executive Director Mark Harvey says he's ready for the crowds. I think this year is going to be fantastic. We've, uh, we've added a significant number of uh, outdoor picnic tables. Uh, we've got a lot more food vendors here for the fair. And of course, we've got the, the rides and the entertainment and the exhibits. Vendors and showrunners equally eager for the event's return. We didn't work for nearly a year and it was tough. Everything's opened back up and it's really gang busting now. And while you and your family focus on fun and games, Harvey and local law enforcement agencies will work to keep you safe. We provide security. Uh, we contract with the Tallahassee Police Department with a private security company and we also hire security guards to walk around uh, on the property. If we see any potential problems, uh, we take corrective measures immediately. In 2019, someone shot and killed a teenager just outside the North Florida Fair, leaving three others injured. TPD confirms they'll have off-duty officers on standby at the fairgrounds and offers these tips to keep in mind. One is use the designated entrances for parking. Um, most of the time those are well-lit areas and we have security personnel um, there in those parking lots. Um, also make sure that you don't leave any valuables in your car. Um, and while you're inside the fair, the main thing is, is uh, don't flash a lot of cash um, if you're buying something. You can buy tickets right now for all the fun kicking off at 5 p.m. this Thursday. In Tallahassee, Cara Bailey, ABC 27. And the fair will be open through November 14th. For a list of prices and places where you can pick up your tickets, check out this story at WTXL.TV.